tough day for Auburn, Washington's Mosby Farms. I, it's hurtful. The day they disked 20 acres of zucchini back into the ground. What could have been a stellar season, I can say was probably not. A $100,000 loss for this first generation farm, Rosella Mosby says, because they didn't have the workers to pick it. They were missing more than a fifth of their workforce. We definitely depended on walk-ins. And I would say the last year, year and a half, our walk-ins are probably half of what they were. This year, Mosby is worried the worker shortage will be even worse. Anybody who wants a job can get a job. And agriculture is not always the first choice. In King County, the Mosby's are competing with jobs in warehouses and construction. How much are you paying your workers? We pay them above minimum wage. It all depends on what they do. They even offer hourly bonuses for workers who stay through the season. But fewer domestic workers are signing up, and migrant workers are dropping off too. Tighter borders and the Trump administration's talk on immigration play a part, but it's not the whole story. We had an agricultural labor issue long before this administration. According to the Pew Research Center, from 2009 to 2014, one million people left the U.S. to return to Mexico, outpacing the number of Mexican immigrants trying to come in. Without domestic workers to take their place, it's the local farmers who feed us who are suffering. Agriculture needs a stable, verifiable work source, period. And whether that is domestic or comes from abroad, like, like we just need help. It's an issue that's caught the attention of some lawmakers. This is truly a crisis situation. Washington Congressman Dan Newhouse hears the same concerns in central Washington. He says the shortage could cost the state millions of dollars a year. Not only you lose the, the food that people need to eat, but the, the loss of, of jobs that, that uh, harvest, pack and process and, and ship that food product. Uh, and, and the income to every, every step along the way. Congressman Newhouse is behind the push to streamline a program that's meant to be a lifeline for farm worker shortages. H-2A visas are for temporary agriculture workers, but applying for help is cumbersome. It involves four federal agencies and then additional state requirements. Newhouse's amendment would create one online portal. But even if applying gets easier, the cost of hosting these workers will keep farms like Mosby's out of the mix. Under H-2A, farmers are forced to pay a higher wage and provide housing, meals, and transportation. Once you add in housing and their travel expenses, it just becomes so much more than you can afford. Mosby hopes reforms to H-2A come soon. Until then, she says they'll run lean and she's approaching every immigrant, refugee, and youth work program for help. The new normal for you is going out and begging for people to come work for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, keeping our fingers crossed and saying a lot of prayers. In Auburn, Simone Del Rosario,